B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 That's so much fun. It's education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hi everyone and welcome to A Plus English. And she is Kai. And she's Chiklin. Yay, hi. So, Chiklin, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling good. Yeah. Quite good. What about you? I'm good. In fact, actually, I feel really good. And mm -hmm. I think it's partly because I slept really well last oh, night. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm jealous. <laughs> no, you didn't sleep well? Um, I don't normally sleep very well. Oh, that's yeah. so unfortunate. I know, but I think that's what we're going to talk about today, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. And we have this warm-up question here. What do you do to get ready for bed? Yeah, um, I usually brush my teeth check any messages on my phone, oh. uh, and then I turn off the lights. It's pretty simple. <laughs> what about you? Anything <laughs> um, unique? Definitely my daily nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. <laughs> right, and then I like to give myself a little body massage before I, not like all body, sure. but like my legs and oh, my, that's really cool. my arms to make me feel more relaxed before that's a good bed. Idea. Mm. Yeah, that's extremely good. <laughs> and so today we're going over an article that tells us different tips for how to get a good oh, night's sleep. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna help me. <laughs> and we will check it out. Yeah. Can't sleep? Try these ideas. Warm up question. What do you do to get ready for bed? Sometimes it's hard to sleep. Here are some helpful ideas to help you sleep well. Socks. Our bodies stay the same temperature during the day. However, our temperature drops at night. Feeling too cold or hot can wake us up. Because our feet are a long way from our hearts, they can get cold fast. Wearing socks when you sleep helps maintain your body temperature. Fans Some people think sleeping with a fan on could make them sick. This isn't true. A fan makes the room cool and keeps the air fresh. It also makes a gentle white noise sound. This sound often helps people sleep. Word power. Helpful. Helpful. It was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. It was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. Temperature. Temperature. A healthy body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. A healthy body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Drop. Drop. The number of students in our class dropped from 35 to just 11. The number of students in our class dropped from 35 to just 11. Sick. Sick. I can't go to school today because I'm sick. I can't go to school today because I'm sick. Maintain. Gentle. Today we're going over the article for Unit 2. It's called, Can't Sleep? Try These Ideas. So, the article begins. Sometimes it's hard to sleep. 
here are some helpful ideas to help you sleep well. And helpful is our first word power、mm. word. Yeah, so it's helpful, it's an adjective. H E L P F U L, helpful. If something is helpful, it provides help to someone or something. Personally, my eyes are bad, so my glasses are very helpful to me. The example sentence is It was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. Again, it was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. 所以大家 helpful 这个字呢，就是有用的或提供帮助的。所以老师刚刚念的课文例句呢，就是因为 Tina 会说日语，所以有她和我们一起在日本是很有帮助的。And yeah, we usually say to be helpful to someone. That means 就是什么东西对你有帮助。Mm-hmm. 所以如果 somebody helps you， 如果有人帮你，然后 you want to thank them， 你们想要感谢人家，你可以说 Thank you for being so helpful. To me or to us, and of course the opposite is helpless. <laughs> yeah, and that means、yeah. unable to help somebody or oneself. So you can we can make a sentence with it. A turtle will become helpless if it's turned over on its back. That's so sad, <laughs> right? I know. Okay, so 回到课文有时候很难入眠哦。所以今天我们会提供一些帮助大家的好入眠的点子。So what is our first tip? The first tip from the article is about socks. Yeah, it says our bodies stay the same temperature during the day. Temperature is our next word power word.、Mm-hmm. It's a little bit longer, but you see it all the time. Temperature is T E M P E R A T U R E. It's a noun, and again, it's temperature. Temperature tells you how hot or cold something is, like the weather. Or in our article, it means the measurement of how hot your body is. The example sentence is: A healthy body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Again, a healthy body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. 所以 temperature 就是我们的体温的意思或温度。那么，呃，老师刚刚的课文例句呢，就是指我们健康的体温是摄氏三十七度。那么呢，如果你有发烧 ，you can say to have a temperature or、yeah. to run a temperature， and that means you have a fever. Yeah, so, a little sick. Right. And then 我们可以造一个句子 ：The baby is running a temperature and is grouchy. And also a device that we use to measure temperature is called it. Thermometer 就是一个体温计或温度计的意思。Mm-hmm. 那我们回到课文中，我们的身体整天都停留在一样的温度。那么这边有一个 day during the day， 这个 day 就是白天的意思哦。嗯哼。But the article continues、mm-hmm. and says, however, our temperature drops at night.、Oh, okay. Yeah. And so usually the weather does the same thing. It's、oh. warm during the day or however it is. And then it gets、right. much colder. The temperature always drops.、Mm, that's why we always have to bring a coat with us. Yes, exactly. If you're going to be out in the evening, or、mm-hmm. you know, it's the reason you have a blanket on your bed. Right. Yeah. So drop is our third word power word. It's nice and short.、Mm-hmm. D R O P. Drop. It's a verb. To drop is to go from something higher. To something lower. Sometimes it's physical, like dropping a watermelon off Taipei 101. Sometimes it's an idea, like when we talk about the temperature dropping from 20 degrees to 14 degrees. So, for the example, we have the number of students in our class dropped from 35 to just 11. The number of students in our class dropped from 35 to just 11. 所以 drop 就是下降或使什么减少的意思。那么刚刚的课文的一句就是，我们班的学生数量从三十五个人下降到九十一人。Mm, I wonder why that happened. I don't know. Bad teacher, <laughs> too hard. Maybe. <laughs> 好，那我们看一下，我们可以造另外一个句子。我们 drop 这个字当掉下东西落掉也是可以的。We can say, I think I dropped my key somewhere. 我可能在某处钥匙掉了 ，or we can also use it in the phrase to drop someone off,、mm-hmm. and that means 就是 maybe you pick someone up and then you can tell them, can you drop me off somewhere? 就是放某人下车。那我们造一个例句 ，Mrs. Springhorn drops her daughter off at school every morning. 
，又或者呢 ，to drop somebody a line. Yeah, yeah, and that means to write somebody a letter or、yeah. especially an informal one. Yeah, a little note. Right, or like、mm-hmm. you can text someone. Maybe you can say, "Drop me a line." Sometimes I think I think so. Yeah, I yeah. I think it's a, maybe a little old-fashioned, but it's still still used. It's still it, used. Yeah, yeah.、Definitely. Okay. Now we can say, "So we can say." Drop me a line. Drop me a line if you change your mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. Okay. <laughs> so drop 意思超多 has so many meanings. It can actually be used as a noun, right? Yes. In like your teardrops or raindrops, 都是可以 Or drops of blood. Right. 就是血滴啊，我很多都可以用 Or any liquid medicine that's given for your eyes,、yeah. or your nose, or your, your ears. ears. So, 眼药水我们可以说那个 like. Eye drops.、Mm-hmm. And what about、um, the liquid medicine that we use for the nose? How do we say it?、Uh, for the nose, nose drops.、Uh, Maybe nose drops. Maybe yeah, I don't think I've they, ever had to take this kind of no, medicine. No, I I haven't. <laughs> But that your 耳朵就是 ear drops. But 大部分我们都是用 eye drops. Yeah. Okay. 那我回答课文，所以我们的体温呢，到晚上就会下降了。嗯哼。Mm. The article continues by saying, "Feeling too cold or hot can wake us up."、Ooh. Yeah, and feeling looks like a verb in this sentence,、oh. but we can use words that end with ing in the subject of a sentence. It's it's very normal.、Mm, right, 就是一个动名词的形态。那在这边呢，我们呢先进 Magic Box 来看看讲师的讲解。各位，我真的是好紧张哦！待会呢，我就要去我的电影粉丝见面会。天哪、啊，同学们，我真的做得到吗 ？Standing in front of a big crowd always makes me nervous. See, I keep sweating. 哎，等等，同学们，该不会忘了黑寡妇我吧？虽然因为拍电影的关系很久没有出现了，但希望你们都有想念我哦。而且这次啊，我独挑大梁哎，大家记得要去看我的电影哦。耳尖的同学们想必都有听到好多的动词 ing， 在我刚刚的句子里面，对不对？这种原形动词字尾后面加上 i n g， 其实呢就是所谓的动名词哦。动名词的用法有常见的以下几种。首先呢，我们呢、啊、可以先把它当做主词来用，就像我刚刚说的 ，standing in front of a big crowd always makes me nervous。句中的主词位置可以看到是 standing 这个动名词。是啊，不瞒各位说，好啦，别看我在电影里面很凶狠。私底下呢，我可是非常害羞呢。站在一大群人面前，总是让我感到非常紧张啦。哎，那同学们有没有发现到，同样一句话中的主要动词 makes 为什么要加 s 啊？特别注意哦，因为 standing in front of a big crowd 是一个单一的事件，因此呢，要搭配的是单数动词哦。所以我们的 make 就必须加上 s 啦。再来呢，动名词啊，还能当做受词来使用哦。哎，记不记得我一开始说参加见面会很紧张，所以呢 ，so I keep sweating。没有错 ，sweating 也是个动名词啦。不过呢，它在这边呢、啊、就变到了受词的位置了。有些特定动词后面放的呢，就必须要是动名词哦。而这些搭配使用的常见动词，除了刚刚说的 keep 之外，还有像是 enjoy、finish、practice 等等的。I really need to practice interacting with my fans。哎，我想我真的要多练习与粉丝们互动啦，不然呢、啊，到时候见面会，呃，太害羞可就糗了。好啦，天哪，跟你们说了那么多。嗯，我觉得我有缓解一下心情了。Chatting with you guys really helps me calm down. <笑> okay, so we in the text we said that when we sleep, it's too hot, too cold, you will wake up. So the teacher just said that feeling too cold. This is a feel is a noun. Then it added a description of cold. Feeling too cold. This is a connective noun. Uh huh. And then the article continues by explaining. Because our feet are a long way from our hearts, they can get cold fast.、Oh, yeah. Do you have this、okay. experience with your your、oh, hands and your feet being cold feet all the time? My feet are always cold, twenty four seven, like especially、yeah. in the winter. What about you? Um. 
I don't know, my、it's、hands a, are pretty warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you're very warm.、Mm-hmm. Okay. But there, you know, there, there is a saying that says, cold hands, warm heart. So it's, <laughs>、yeah. it's still nice. Like、yeah. if you have cold hands, it's still okay. Right, okay. But、yeah. that means you're not very healthy, like if you have cold hands, right? I've heard that it means your heart is not strong enough to get the blood everywhere in your body. All the way to your、yeah. fingers and toes. I know, and that's me, okay?、Oh, it's、no. kind of bad. Then just try to stay warm, okay? So our feet are very far from our heart, so it's very easy to get cold because the heart needs to be warm to get the blood to the heart. Yeah. Okay. So, what should we do about it then? Well, here's the article suggestion: wearing socks when you sleep helps maintain your body temperature. And here's that pattern again of wearing wear plus ing、oh, okay. in the subject of the sentence. 对 ，OK OK， 因为我们一定要这样子，不然会一个句子有两个动词。好，那我们看到 maintain。Maintain means to continue to have or to keep something in good condition，、mm-hmm. 就是有保持、维持的意思。So that means in our article, wearing socks helps your body stay at the same temperature all night. Yeah， 就是你睡觉的时候穿袜子，其实可以帮助我们的身体维持体温的。Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also, I mean, it's a fun way you can do fashion when you sleep. Oh, right. Because there are so many cute socks. I know. And、uh, I have a pair actually that's really, really thick,、mm-hmm. and inside it's so soft and fuzzy. Oh, they're really comfortable. Love they're it. perfect、okay. for sleeping. And now you can match with your、um, pajamas. Yeah,、right? yeah, just super, super fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> no,、mm-hmm. um, but the article continues、right. with、mm-hmm. a different thing related、oh, to temperature. Oh, different thing. Yeah, we're off the topic of socks now. The article is about fans. Fans. Yeah, some people think sleeping with a fan on could make them sick. Exactly. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sleep with a fan no. on. So I, we have a vocab word there. Yeah, we do have a word power word.、Mm-hmm. So let's do that first.、Uh, it's a nice short one again. Sick. It's an adjective. S. I C K sick. When your body feels bad, you're probably sick. Your head hurts. Your stomach's uncomfortable. Your skin's hot. You have a cough. You're itchy. That's sick. So the example sentence says, "I can't go to school today because I'm sick." Again, "I can't go to school today because I'm sick." So sick 就是生病的或感觉不舒服的。那么课文例句说，我今天不能去学校，因为我生病了。好，那我们看到 sick， 它其实也可以当 tired or upset 的意思。譬如说， I'm sick of him complaining about his job all the time. <laughs> yeah， <laughs> 一直抱怨工作好烦哦。Or sick， um， as a slang， 就是俚语的话，也可以当是 excellent 的意思，很好。所以你可以说 that movie was sick. Yeah, yeah, you definitely can. <laughs> So back to the article. <laughs> 意思就是说，有些人觉得睡觉时吹电风扇会让他们感到。So yeah, I don't do that because I'm one of those people that think fans will make us sick. Yeah. yeah. Do you do that? In the, in the summer, I like to have a fan on、okay. because it feels like it moves the air. Right. But when the weather's colder, or if you forget to clean your fan. Then I can see how it could make you feel sick,、mm, you know. Right. But for the most part, I I don't I don't agree with you. I don't <laughs>、okay. think the fan. I don't think the cold, the cold breeze. Okay. Okay. Is going to make me、yeah. sick. So yeah. And then.、Um, yeah, but sick for sick, we talked about sick being used as a slang. We can also use it along, right? Yeah, yeah, we can. So,、uh, for example, like who's coming to our lunch meeting tomorrow? <laughs> Someone cool. Sick. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, how you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway,、uh, the article continues. It disagrees with Chiklin. Sorry.、Uh-oh. The article says this isn't true. A fan makes the room cool and keeps the air fresh. Just like what you said. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I know that this is not the correct understanding. So the teacher is right. Kai is right. The fan 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 is right. 也可以保持空气畅通哎 ，so it doesn't make you sick. I don't、oh, think so. Okay, I learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the article talks about another benefit. Oh, it says it also makes a gentle white noise sound. Oh, okay, gentle.、Yeah. So we we know that gentle here it means calm and soft. Right, 就是有微弱的意思。嗯，那么所以电风扇放着还会有微弱温和的白噪。Have you heard of white noise? I have.、Mm-hmm. Um, it's It's like a combination of all the frequencies of sounds, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds 
like, like yeah, nothing, right? Just as sound like TVs or air purifiers、mm-hmm. or fans that what we talked about.、Yeah. They're very good at creating background noise that masks other sounds. Yeah, it's yeah. not too loud. It's not noticeable. It never changes. It's just. The same, right? So when you're distracted by some noises, especially when you're sleeping,、mm-hmm. these sounds are very good because they help you not to like wake up to these voices or these noises、right. that wake you up. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's why we said that leaving the fan on when sleeping isn't a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> This sound often helps people sleep. This is what the article tells us. Oh, okay. So we know that this white noise, white noise, can help people sleep. Yeah. So, do you like to listen to anything when you fall asleep or while you're sleeping?、Uh, sometimes, if I'm having insomnia, well,、mm. I turn on my meditation music or any jazz music that I'm、oh, into. Oh, very peaceful. Right, and it really helps. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. Well, that's、What、the a- end. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. What about you? <laughs> I usually do don't actually. I don't listen. You sleep music. very well. I, I do. I sleep、oh, pretty well. I'm、goodness. quite lucky. I wish I were you. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about two ways to help us how to、um, to sleep well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is the end of our article today, and we will find out more about sleeping tomorrow. Exactly. And for now, let's go to our review time. <laughs> Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽 All right. So for charades, we're going to each pick a word, act it out.、Um, I have my idea. Are you、okay. ready to guess? I guess I am. Okay. Because I love charades. All right. Here <laughs> we go. Oh, there was something in your hand. Yes. And then it falls.、Mm-hmm. And we we had we had this vocabulary word that's very similar to that. It's a short one. I know. Yeah, it begins with the letter D, right? Yes. So I think it's drop. Nailed it. Very、oh, good. Oh yeah. Nice. No, you're a very ni-、uh, good actor, <laughs> actress. <laughs> Thank you.、Right. <laughs> okay. Well, you、um, give me one. I'm gonna do another one. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you starting? Yeah. Okay. Oh no!、Uh, It sounds like you've got a cough.、Mm. Your your stomach too. Oh, I think she's sick. <laughs> I, I got、am. it right. S I C K. Nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. It's perfect. Okay.、Uh, I think we got time for one more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. 大家可以想一下我们还有什么字 Okay. What's wrong? Oh, you're warm.、Mm-hmm. Are you running the fever? Kind of, sort of. Maybe. Like you can talk.、Um, oh, we talked about that phrase in our article today, right? In our episode, we talked about that phrase to run a temperature, right? Yes, temperature. So that's the vocab word that we're. That's、guessing. the last one. Oh yeah. We Or got sorry,、it. that's not the last one. The last one is for you to do.、Mm-hmm. Um, You can review all these words as you go through, play a game with them,、uh, have fun.、Mm-hmm. So for A Plus English, I'm Shikling, and I'm Kai. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Can't sleep? Try these ideas. Warm-up question: What do you do to get ready for bed? Sometimes it's hard to sleep. Here are some helpful ideas to help you sleep well. Socks. Our bodies stay the same temperature during the day. However, our temperature drops at night. Feeling too cold or hot can wake us up. Because our feet are a long way from our hearts, they can get cold fast. Wearing socks when you sleep helps maintain your body temperature. Fans. Some people think sleeping with a fan on could make them sick. This isn't true. A fan makes the room cool and keeps the air fresh. It also makes a gentle white noise sound. 
This sound often helps people sleep. Word power. Helpful. Helpful. It was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. It was helpful to have Tina with us in Japan because she speaks Japanese. Temperature, temperature. A healthy body temperature is thirty-seven degrees Celsius. A healthy body temperature is thirty-seven degrees Celsius. Drop, drop. The number of students in our class dropped from thirty-five. To just eleven, the number of students in our class dropped from thirty-five to just eleven. Sick, sick. I can't go to school today because I'm sick. I can't go to school today because I'm sick. 认识智慧 Maintain. Gentle.